when you want to switch a car lamp that uh, has uh, a power from approximately 50 watt or so, like this one, it's a halogen lamp, uh, you will always need a switch that can handle that current. So this is for instance a switch from an uh, Italian car, a Fiat from the 80s and it had to switch on the ventilator. Uh, this switch is able to handle a lot of current. But you can also uh, make such a circuit um, when you use the amplifying uh, characteristics from a transistor. So a Darlington for instance, it was in the preceding video. And uh, then you only have to use a very simple and small switch on this location, cheap switch. We make the base positive and here through the relay current starts to flow and the relay switches the heavy lamp on. So this is the demo circuit uh, with a tip 31A and the BC547B. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate now how that works. When I make the base positive the LED, the, sorry, the lamp switches on. This can also be uh, this heavy lamp. No problem at all. This relay is able to switch uh, 30 ampere. So with a cheap switch, very cheap switch, you can uh, switch off and on uh, devices that take, that draw a high current. Um, but there's also another uh, interesting uh, feature from this circuit. When we use the positive uh, voltage that's at this point when the relay is closed, uh, when we use that positive voltage to get the first transistor uh, also in a positive state, the whole circuit keeps working and the relay retains itself. So the lamp uh, burns as long as we don't disconnect the power supply. And that's what's meant by this part of the circuit. This uh, is a sort of switch that can be pushed down and up. And when we disconnect the power supply, the whole circuit gets back to its zero state. I want to demonstrate it now when it's possible. This is at first again the uh, positive voltage added to the base of the Darlington. <coughs> and the reason that it acts a little bit delayed is that I have connected here a capacitor, 10 microfarad. So this capacitor holds a little bit charge and this charge flows into the first transistor. And that makes that the whole circuit works more reliable. And by the way, when you raise the value from this uh, capacitor, it gets more or less a timing circuit. But that's not the meaning here in this application. I only wanted to create a more stable situation. Again this. Now I put down the camera. I connect the 1K resistor in the circuit. This resistor here, this resistor connected to this location here where the positive voltage comes when we uh, when the switch is activated. And now the lamp uh, keeps burning because the relay retains itself. It gets a positive voltage here. The transistor keeps activated and uh, the relay keeps activated too. 
and now only by disconnecting this point here we can get to the zero to the zero state the, the situation where uh, it was when it all began so connect it again make the base positive here again lamp switch is on and keeps on as long as we don't disconnect the power supply. These are the pin connections from the used transistors. So perhaps this is an interesting circuit. And I wish you luck.